Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video. I just wanted to shoot a quick tips video for particularly like new drummers who find it quite hard to either count a fast roll or even feel a fast roll. So I've encountered this a few times with previous students where they get the idea they need to play like a fill-in that's either eight hits long or maybe even 12 hits long sometimes even shorter, like six, and they just run into the problem where they know what their body's meant to be doing, but they just can't feel it or count it quick enough. So if we're talking strictly single strokes, I'm gonna show you how to like count hack your way through a fill-in. So we're gonna start with something like the number four, six, eight, 12, and then into some higher numbers um, and odd numbers like 10 and 14 because they're all derived from odd numbers. So let me show you the concept. Now, the best way to do this is to um, establish which is your leading hand, which is my right hand in this case. So here's a few singles. And we've all seen those before, so single strokes are very basic um, on, on the surface. So then a student might need to be able to play um, four notes very quickly. But sometimes they can't feel that. So what I then suggest to the student is isolate your best hand, which would be their right hand, and just learn to count numbers on that right hand. So for instance, if we count two, one, two, one, two. Then you just shadow a note with your left hand. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. So that's a very like quick and easy and almost dirty way of like jumping in and learning how to play like a fast roll around a particular number. So that's the number two. That would give us four notes for free. One, two, but you hear four notes. Uh, the next thing might be um, learning to play like six notes in a row, which would be a sextuplet in this particular instance. So we could try just three on one hand. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then just shadow with our left hand. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. And what I'm tending to do is accent on the number one, so that feels like the start point for me. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then just simply by adding that left hand afterwards, I'm creating a sextuplet by default. So it's quite a nice little hack when you're trying to roll it fast. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. And it will work on some higher numbers. So we can just go up a few. Let's say you wanted to play like a group of 30 second notes, which is eight hits per beat. Then I would just count to four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. A bit slower. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that will allow you to unlock 30 second notes without really needing to count anything too fierce. Uh, let's go up a few steps higher. Let's say you wanted to play like 10 strokes per beat. I'd start by just counting to five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Add the left. One, two, three, four, five. 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 One. And that allows me to very quickly fill 10 just by subbing it for five hits. And then let's say we wanted to get up to say the number 14. Well, I would just count to seven with my right hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 One. So it's a very quick hack um, that allows you to play these longer roles. And I have encountered it a few times where students are like, oh, I get that I'm meant to be playing this many notes. I just can't feel it. That would just be one way, one suggestion of how you could get there a little quicker, okay? So if you found this useful, then by all means, start to use it yourself and show others. And feel free to leave a comment if none of that made sense or certain bits you just want some clarification with. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys again soon.